Kia ora koutou. Welcome to this tutorial on searching online databases. This will be particularly useful for those of you doing assignments at home who are looking for reputable information to support them. Starting from the Freiburg High School page, we're going to move on to our library, which you'll find under important information. And while your first inclination is probably to go through to databases, in fact, we are going to use our library catalogue. The reason for this is once we log into here, it will actually act as an authentication to access those remote databases. Your login is the same one that you use to access Office 365. You arrive at your personal dashboard in the library and from here we will do a search on a hot topic. First up is the library results and worth noting is any digital results because of course they might be useful while you're at home as well. They most likely will be ebook, uh, websites and sometimes audio or video available online. You can filter through to those and by clicking on a particular result, see more details, plus the link to access it online. Now, OneSearch is our gateway today. That's also in the left column. And you'll see that it's recorded the search we've run in the library. It's now ready to extend that out into other resources. The first one we will choose is Gale Virtual Reference Library. And the reason for this is actually just to trigger the authentication. Oops. When you click on there, it opens up the Gale Virtual Reference area, but not on pandemics as we want. So close that window to come back to the library catalog. And you'll notice that we've now just through that little thing authenticated. I don't know why it does it like that, but it works. So that's that's what we're going with. Click on continue. And this time when it links through, you'll see results on pandemic. Go back to the library catalog because second, and probably more importantly, because it has so much available on it, is Epic Discovery. Click through to Epic Discovery. And you'll see here that this is an absolute powerhouse for finding information. On the right hand side, uh, resources that weren't actually included in the search. You can click on any of those to run your search through that particular resource as well. First of all, we will narrow this down a bit though. 700,000 odd results is probably a bit too many to be working through. So if we add some ideas, such as a particular type of pandemic and a certain geographic location, it will reduce the number of results that we have. Okay, so now it's down to 6,000. Still a lot though. Let's add another idea to narrow that further. Because we are approaching Anzac Day, let's have a look at influenza and the military. Much more manageable. And I can see looking at the very first result that it's hitting mark of the sort of result I wanted to see. On the right hand side, you can refine this even further. You may be only interested in newer publications. And a really good feature is the format option here. If you click on show more, you can multi-tick formats that you think would be good for your, you know, educational essay that you're doing. Academic journals would be one. They are written by researchers for researchers, and they are also peer reviewed which means that experts in the subject field have read the article before it's being published to make sure it was accurate. Um, also, I will tick magazines today because 
often they are a credible source unless they're popular glossies and they tend to be written with the lay person in mind so the information is more general and easier to understand especially when you're starting to learn about a topic like that Great, so now 170 versus 700,000. I think that's a bit more manageable. Very interesting in the first result. So I will click through to that one. And this gives me a more detailed record, including the abstract, which is a summary of the article. A lot of abstracts are supplied by the author of the article itself. I think this looks great for my imaginary essay. I'm very excited about this one. <laughs> so I will click through to have a look at the full, read through the full article as it appeared in the magazine. You're going to have another pop-up window. I think this only appears once though when you first log through. And it's just saying that it's limited to New Zealand schools and a login might be required. Now there is a slight difference between PDF full text and on some you will see HTML full text. PDF full text is my preference because it is exactly as it appeared in the print or online journal. Same layout, same tables in the same place, photos in the same place, page numbers. HTML is more of a web style layout and it's not so detailed or in the original um, publication style. Looking at this one here, I can see that this is a research article. It has citations and just looking at the style of the language, I can tell that it's quite formal. Got a lot of data that would be great for my essay and it finishes with a reference list that tells me it is in fact academic so a very reputable one to include information from. Down the right hand side if you hover over the icons there you'll see various options. Now the style this screen might change depending on which database it leads you into but normally it's a very similar layout and similar options. I always like to show students the site option because often teachers will ask you to provide a reference list of information that you used or that you to acknowledge information that you use to support your argument. You can copy and paste it here and it has it in the various styles but you can also tweak that to a style that your teacher has requested. Okay, excellent. Up in the top right corner, top left corner, sorry, we can go to the results list again and keep working through to find information for the assignment that you're doing. Now, today we did a basic search. If um, people are interested in learning how to do advanced database searching, let me know and I will endeavour to do a video on that. Something else to note just before we leave here is that if you have a particular database in mind that you like to search, you can actually list them all up here. So this lists all the databases individually. Um, a good example might be the fact that that last search we did was a New Zealand uh, geographic location. So perhaps we only want to search the Australian New Zealand Reference Centre. That I think is enough for today. So I hope that you are now going to hand in brilliant essays for the highest of marks. And until next time, haere ra.